Good morning and welcome back. Well, most smokers begin as teenagers and once your teen takes that first puff, it can turn into a long-term habit. We all know the health effects of that. It's hard to break the habit and increases the risk of a lot of health issues. So joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System is wellness education specialist Susan Lunston. Susan, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Yep, good morning. Thanks for having me. So what are, this, what are some of the statistics? I guess how prevalent is this that kids try smoking uh, at least when they're in the teen years? Yeah, so it's really important for kids to not even start. And unfortunately, a lot of times children start before the age of 18. Actually, 9 out of 10 smokers started before the age of 18. And most of them continue to smoke. Two-thirds will continue to smoke throughout their life. So that's an unfortunate stat. So, yeah, to help prevent kids from even starting is, is really what would be best. At what age do you suggest we start to talk to our kids about it? Is there an age that's too young to talk about it? Question. Unfortunately, kids can start smoking as even sooner than um, age 11 to 13 is typically where we'll see that. So having that conversation even before that age begins is really important because, again, um, to have that child not even try their first cigarette is best. Uh, so with things like uh, e-cigarettes and, and, and vaping, this, the, all these trends now, how does that play into making the conversation maybe more difficult? Yeah, so today it is a different world out there. There's so many different options, and unfortunately, that's, you know, that's a decision that the um, children have to make. And so as an adult, how can we help them be more aware of what are the concerns there? So have that conversation. There are chemicals in these products, and we have concerns about them for your health. Um, sometimes with youth, they don't necessarily see an immediate concern there. But again, there are concerns with those chemicals affecting uh, athletic performance, um, with immunity and such, with response to um, fighting off illnesses. So certainly we want to have those conversations because there's immediate as well as long-term effects with using those products. Yeah, obviously explaining all of those. And one thing I like that you talk about is role-playing too. Maybe say, hey, you know, your friend might ask you this. What are you going to say? Start to plan those answers and help your kids prepare for being in peer pressure situations because that can play into effect too. Susan, we're running out of time, but we appreciate your time you took this morning for us. Thank you.